Hi folks and welcome back to Fishing with Den. Well today's just a short video on how to use the polabong. And for those of you that don't know what a polabong is, this is it. This is the piece that goes through the top two sections of your pole and connects to the elastic. Now if you watch my video on how to elasticate a pole, you'll know how all this gets set up. This is the polabong itself. This one happens to be a Drennan uh, polabong, but there's a number of them around. Pushes up inside the pole here. Um, there are other versions which are side pullers where there's a little hole here, but the, the principle is the same. You pull out this elastic to control a fish. So let's show you how it works, shall we? There we go. Oh, that's a quite a nice one. <laughs> Taking loads of elastic with it. And keep them out of the swim. Every time I try and do that, of course, he tries to go back to exactly where I was fishing. It seems to be a thing with carp for some reason. Still, just give it time. Let, let the elastic do the work. Shoot back gently and slowly, as the fish allows, of course. If it's running, let it run. Put that down on the roller for a minute. There we go. And then when we get to the top two, just unship. Now at the moment, if I were to try and get that in down to the landing net here, as you can see, it's probably not going to work too well. So what I'm going to do, this is where the polabong comes in. Take out some elastic and grip. All this does is it just reduces the length of elastic so you've got more control over the fish. Just like when you're using a waggler rod you just get it to within a, a nice comfortable range. As you can see now by having all this elastic pulled up here in the puller bung I've got more control otherwise it would be going up that way and down that way and be having all sorts of problems. And can you imagine if this fish weighed sort of 10 pounds or so? That elastic would be stretching a lot more. There we go. And then just let go, elastic goes back in, and you're ready to unhook the fish. And it's quite a nice fish too. Only just hooked. I don't know, probably three, four pounds or so. Yep, there we go. So, you'll know how big a fish is by how much elastic it takes. As you can see, this one's gone sort of towards the middle of the lake. It's a reasonable sized fish. Um, as I say, if it's taking a lot of elastic, then it's probably a decent size. If it doesn't, well, that's no problem. Just ship back gently. There we go. This one's had an initial run, and in fact on this one, because it's a little bit smaller, I probably don't need to take any of the elastic out of here like I did last time. As you see, I can control it on the end of the pole, and so you don't always need to pull elastic out of the, the puller bung. That was very easy to, to do, and that's another fish in the net. So that's it then folks, that's how to use the puller bung. As I said at the start, there's various different types, whether it be these pullers from the end or side pullers, but they all work the same way, and as you've seen, all you do is pull out enough elastic to shorten down the amount of elastic that's coming out of the top of your pole, and when you've got it just right, you can bring the fish in over the landing net and just land them. And, well, there's not much else to say really, is there? Except, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Oh, of course I got to do that. And uh, you can always subscribe if you want to. But until the next time, bye for now.